And so for the first match, we have Legendary Azura with a new refine, Ryoma, Corin with Hardy Bearing, and Fallen Tiki. It's possible to bait turn 1 Legendary Azura. Let me show you how to do this. So, because Corin is further away, she is going to use Rally first. But then she's going to activate Fortress, and you might think maybe Azura deals not enough damage. I think she will because she provides drone drive attack, and that's more than enough for Azura to deal enough damage to my Chrome. But then, thanks to the trace movement, what happens is that next turn, Henry is going to panic this Corinne. This is exactly what I wanted. So now we are going to debuff Corin even more. Me. Activate Guidance. You have my all. And Corin will have to die pretty easily to my Henry. So now I am going to threaten Tiki with by left. And next turn, this should be very easy. Second match, we have Duo Dagger, Duo Peony, Legendary Chrome, and Legendary by left. I don't know between those two which one moves first. It depends on slot number because of equal distance. If, however, Dagger moves first, then it's a good thing for me. Maybe there's a chance to kill Dagger if she moves really first. She won't activate Deadai despite having Heavy Blade because Henry inflicts Guard. Very nice. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait. 34 damage. Wow. No way. I can't believe she's inflicting so much damage. Wow, I mean, uh, I'm really scared. I'm really scared. Damn it! This dagger! She's so strong! So here, what I'm going to do is bait the enemy crown with my own crown. So, by left rallies from above, danced, not above. I mean, whatever. And now we just simply bait Peony easily. All right. will be done. And that's it. Final boss for the last match. Duo Chrome, Legendary Chrome, Lot of Speed and Legendary Dimitri, Plumeria. So we are going to bait Plumeria turn 1 with Chrome and also baiting Chrome with by left. Let me explain why. He's a melee, he's definitely chasing Henry, he's moving up. So because he's threatened by by left, after that, Chrome activates change fate, he has to attack by left. There is no other choice. And then Plumeria attacks my Chrome, and Henry has to get the bonus kill on dual Chrome, which is possible if I have Drive Null follow-up and more speed than Duo Chrome, which is possible with Henry. So yes, the blue Chrome hits really, really hard on by left. So now we have Chrome left and Dimitri with Rally Death Res. Maybe this Chrome will survive, but if he survives, then next turn I'm going to kill him with Blue Flame. Um, wait. He can't double this Chrome, really? Even with buff and this Chrome debuffed? In terms of speed? Well, that's a little bit disappointing. By left, you are the god. The water god. 